Hello, and welcome to the Arrows Good News Report for fall 2024. The One Taste Center, an organic erotic showroom in Harlem, is now open. If you're in New York, come enjoy our events, from Women Over Dinner, to OM classes, to our latest series called Altered States, hosted by Ira Silverberg. Our last one featured artist Leah Chavez, speaking about the scientific and sacred design of human consciousness. On November 17th, we're launching a new series of OM courses on the Eros platform. Starting at beginner level and on to more advanced levels, this will be a great way to learn and deepen your experience of the practice. In a recent global OM survey, to understand demographics, interests, and health benefits of those who practice orgasmic meditation, 74% of survey respondents who owned and had trauma symptoms said that OM improved at least one symptom of trauma. So far, over 1,600 women have been hosted at Women Over Dinner. That's 89 dinners across 39 cities in seven different countries. Their last dinner was hosted by Nicole Daydome and Dr. Topeka K. Sam. They had 111 women making it their largest dinner to date. Upcoming, they have plans to host a Women Over Dinner at Taconic Correctional Facility for Women, north of Manhattan. If you would like to donate to the dinner experience, you can go to womenoverdinner.org and contribute. End of the year retreats are thriving at the land. This month, they hosted several guest teachers from Nicole de Don and Eros to Dr. Jim Harriet, who applied principles of complexity mathematics to the erotic and Lama Mike Crowley on psychedelics and Tibetan Buddhism. They also just got approved to be given funding for completing the clearance of understory, part of the grant requirements from the state of California as part of the land's ongoing earth regeneration initiatives. Organic Erotic has branched out into furniture. They wanted to expand more fully into people's homes, developing on their intention to turn their customers' homes into sanctuaries. In prison monastery news, the Prison Monastery's Art of Soul Making Correspondence Program is now requesting art submissions from their participants. They believe that creativity is the key to inner freedom, so they are launching a new vision called Free the Artist, where they ask for stories, poems, drawings, books, any type of art where the soul of the participant is expressed. Participants will have the opportunity to have their art published in the prison monastery newsletter and on the website. In addition, they published a new book about the prison program, The Prison Monastery, a proposal for a more human and economical approach to prisons. This book provides a comprehensive overview of the model of incarceration, including philosophy, methodology, and pilot implementations and can be purchased on Amazon. They're currently in nearly 1,100 facilities with over 53,000 participants in 47 states who are actively engaged in the Art of Soul Making program. And then finally, in the PR world, Dr. Topeka K. Sam, renowned criminal justice reform advocate, wrote a powerful op-ed for Black Enterprise called The War on Women Eerily Resembles the War on Drugs, about the attacks on One Taste and its leaders. Dr. Teresa Diaz wrote a beautiful piece about her experience as an OBGYN and the war on women's health and orgasmic meditation in the Arizona Daily Star and on Tucson.com. Naomi Aon, PhD, wrote a piece on the nuanced relationship between society and what is deemed normal in the International Business Times. This has been your Eros Good News Report. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.